Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and today I want to take a look at Easy RGB. So for those who aren't familiar, Easy RGB is this kind of crazy website that's come up over the past year, year and a half in this hobby, where it kind of does three things just to get into it. Okay. Um, essentially, you know, what they advertise on their homepage is that you basically click, drag and decorate. You can basically build out a show. There it is. Um, build out a show without actually even having a computer. Even not, e you don't even have to have a PC or Mac, and you can actually build a light show without X lights completely on this website. And it's pretty nuts how it works. They basically have taken, you know, sequences and, and software and put it together in a way that's really unique, so that people that just have a tablet, even just a Chromebook, can actually go ahead and build everything you need and then get all the stuff you need to make it happen. So I think the easiest way is to just walk through it and talk through, hey, is this worth it or not? So when you build an account on easyrgb.com, you go click here to design your light show. I've already gone ahead through the basic setup where I brought in my image of my house. This is just literally a screenshot from Google Street View. I should update it because that tree's totally gone, but we're thinking about getting rid of the hedges next year because they are just mosquito magnets. But essentially, you bring in your house, and then the first thing they have you do is measure something. So I went out and I measured my door at least roughly, and I put that right there. And so that's going to basically give the software an idea of how big everything is, which is really critical to it working. I'm gonna note here that with perspective, like this is a pretty wide angle shot, being that it's from Google Street View, with perspective and with a wider angle shot like this, it doesn't really factor that in super well in the sense that, you know, things that I put in the front here are super small compared to how they'd be in real life. So that's definitely an area for improvement. But once you've done that, you basically um, are able to go ahead and bring in anything, any of these props that they have available in their store, which is a lot of stuff. So for example, I could go and bring in an arch, select my options, drag it in. Like I mentioned, this is about real size of an arch like that. Here where I have my arches, that's too small. So it doesn't quite deal with the perspective well. Um, that is definitely something they could improve or maybe something that, who knows, we could split up. But I would say, you know, if you're doing this on your house, like this is a wide angle shot because it's from Google Street View. If I had walked across the street into my neighbor's front yard and they're cool with that and set my phone to like a 1X, you know, kind of no zoom, typically the perspective is not so wide angle like this and it makes it less different, makes the measurements basically, you know, the perspective less skewed. Ooh, and this is even before we had new windows. Wow, this is old. Uh, <laughs> I think this is, yeah, this is before we bought the house. Is, but anywho, so here's how it works. Essentially, you just come in here and you're able to go ahead and drag in different items. Okay, so you're able to go, you're able to add these items, select your options, bring it in. Let me see if it'll let me. Can I copy and paste? I don't think I can copy and paste, so it's a little slower, um, but I bet that's the kind of functionalities they would pull in in the future. So I'm just gonna bring in five, six, and so and then I'm gonna grab them and just put them into place. Again, you know, order I don't think particularly matters. Um, and then, you know, you can add in pretty much anything you'd find in a display here. So like, for example, there are mega trees. So I could grab one of these, drag it in, boom, nice and easy, already scaled, already the proper size. Um, then I can go to something else, maybe do a big old matrix and just stick it in some random spot like against this tree. Okay, so once you've done that, and of course most layouts would probably be uh, more complex than this, you're able to actually go ahead and buy your stuff. So this is where it gets interesting. And there's a few ways that they kind of slice the cake here. So you can go, first of all, you can preview and actually it'll actually play a song, which I don't know if we have the rights on YouTube, so we'll probably have to mute it. But you can actually play a song and the lighting actually happens. You might hear a little in the background. Which 
you can see essentially like all of the matching up models, all of the X lights, all of the, you know, figuring out what from the sequencer matches to this prop, like all of that is gone. It just flat out works. And so basically easy RGB basically has a few ways that things can work. You can go to checkout here. Okay. And that takes you to your cart, or that adds everything to your cart, I believe. Um, yep. And then um, you're able to check out and uh, buy all your stuff, right? So um, you can, this literally puts together the kit to build all of your stuff and easy RGB props. I believe all of them come pre pushed. So it's got the pixels in the prop. It's shipped to you at just, I think it's five bucks per fixture or per item, which is like way cheap, right? And it's, literally ready to go controllers that are ready to go you know all of that stuff you literally just have to stick it up in your yard after you do this looks like we could use some pixel extensions but really that's about it okay so easy rgb in a sense like if we want to talk about is it worth it but what we've shown you so far basically there's there's kind of three ways you can slice the cake with this site and by the way this isn't sponsored in any way like i know the people that run easy rgb but like, this is just me giving you an honest review of what I see, the potential, what I think of it, how I think it impacts people. So, you know, on the buying prop side, like, yes, they're expensive because it takes hours and hours to build these things and they're expensive to ship and they're doing that all for you. So can you do it yourself cheaper? Of course you can. But I think, you know, if you're short on time and you don't mind spending the extra money, I don't think it's outrageously priced for what it is. You know, the fact that you get the pixels, they're sized to the exact right amounts, you know, inputs and outputs on your props. It's all shipped to you, controllers, everything. It it comes in, it's really not outrageous for what it is. It's really not. Um, like these ready to run controllers for 680, you know, that's the box, you know, everything built really nice. I think it's from uh, CCL controllers. Um, you know, it's a really nice setup, right? Is it, again, you know, not for everybody, but... The cool thing about it is you don't have to do everything through easy RGB. So let's take a look at that. Essentially, you know, you can go and you can build your display and you can buy all your stuff. And then you could map it all in X lights and just have everything pre-purchased. You can even go, if you just go to the shop section to the plug and play props. And by the way, we have all these props at aboveavial.com too. So if you want to buy pre-pushed props, get them from our site. It helps us out. We appreciate it. And they basically assemble them, takes a few weeks, and then they send it to you. Um, so they've got, you know, all these pre-pushed props. So you can go and you can just buy props from EGR, easy RGB, you know, put it into your layout and sequence it and work with it and not have to push any pixels. Pretty cool. Then they have the sequences side. So you can buy, and this is the cool thing, PPD sequences. They have a lot of them in here, and maybe they're thinking about adding other sequence vendors in the future. And the nuts thing about this is when you go and you buy this sequence, they, as it tells you right here, it automatically is built to your layout, okay? So you don't have to launch X lights. You don't have to save, you don't have to render, you don't have to customize things. It's automatically mapped to your layout exactly the way you see it previewed. All you gotta do is buy the song and then upload it all to FPP and they have instructions on how to do all that or how to do it in X schedule. And you're able to preview it, you know, all that stuff. All the stuff happens on, you know, their computers. And so literally you can do this, technically you could do it on a phone, I'd say a tablet, but people always ask about Chromebooks. Obviously, you can't run X lights on a Chromebook, but you can use EGR, EZ RGB on a Chromebook. Okay. And then you literally just download the sequence file ready to schedule in your show, no time spent on your end. Is it worth it? Like, ultimately, that's a decision that you have to make, right? And the biggest thing that EZ RGB does is it saves you a bunch of time. Um, now, if you're talking about sequences, oh, this is key too, is you actually can go in here on your My Account page, let's go back to it really quick, and you can actually upload, and I've got one in here, I think, you can upload your layout from x -Lights. So if you're like, hey, you know what, David? I like building props, I enjoy it, you know, or I wanna save the money either, either way, right? But sequencing is not my favorite thing. Well, 
you know, these sequences are not, they don't cost all that much more than they do on PPD web, PPD's website. In fact, I, do they cost 10 bucks more? I don't know. Let's find out. Quick, <laughs> quick look over to Pixel Pro displays. Go to shop, go to Christmas sequences. And then I think I saw, or I'll just search. Where is the search? Oh, there it is. Um, so actually, let's just do that Bruno Mars one that I saw on there. Um, so I see just the way you are from PPD right here. Here's the sequence. So the sequence itself, original layout is $69.99 from PPD, and it is $59.99 from Easy RGB, probably because, you know, it just works. So there's not really any support there, right? Um, and so that's super cool. So, and it's actually the, let's see, preview video. Oops, doesn't work. Um, um, I'm not sure if it is the pro or the regular layout, but regardless, it's actually cheaper to do it through easy RGB. And I apologize, I didn't have my screen up there, but we'll have JP edit that in. Um, it's actually cheaper to do it through easy RGB than it is to buy it and bring it through X lights yourself. So is it worth it? All that to say, I think it's super cool. If you don't like sequencing, if you don't like doing your own sequences, like uploading your X lights file and buying the sequences through easy RGB to me is like a clear win. It's either the same price or a little cheaper than it is to get through PPD's website. At least right now they have PPD sequences up here. It sounds like by the way, they've got it formatted. It looks like they may add other sequencers in the future. It's actually cheaper to do it this way and easier. So I think that's a clear win. As for the pre-built props and layout and all that stuff that's ready to run and just ship to you, you know, obviously like, there's a significant cost to that overdoing it yourself. It just depends on how much time you have, how much you enjoy doing that stuff, how much you wanna do it. There's no problem, there's nothing wrong with building pre-built props and adding them into your display. Everybody's got different amounts of time to dedicate to this, different desires for what they want, and of course, different budgets. So I definitely think there is a benefit there to buying the stuff all pre-made, and I think it's something a lot of people have been looking for. That's the one that I think it, people are gonna give the most flack just because it looks expensive. But I think if you really sit down and think about how many hours it takes to do this stuff, how many hours it takes to put props together, to punch pixels, all that stuff. And the fact that, you know, they are actually saving you on shipping costs. Most of these are Boscoyo Studio props, for example. And, you know, they, they charge you five bucks per prop to ship them with pixels in them. You know, Boscoyo, charges, you know, actual calculated shipping, which is still reasonable, but it's more than it costs from easy, easy RGB. So they do help you out a little bit there. All that to say, you know, like a lot of videos, I'm not just gonna go and say, yeah, everybody do this. It's totally worth your time. I think it really depends on your needs, your values, your time commitment, um, but it's very, very cool. I think especially the ability to just bring in your layout and buy a sequence and not have to go through the importing process and not have to render it on your computer is like gold. I think that's that's definitely a huge part of it that's gonna help people out a lot, both this year and in the future. So if you enjoyed this and you're new to holiday lighting and you wanna do it yourself, hey, you wanna definitely grab our free guide, the four things I really wish I knew before I began with Christmas lighting. It's gonna help you get started, help you find the things you need and not buy the stuff you don't need. Then when you need to buy stuff, we are your place. Above AVL.com, we've got all of your holiday lighting stuff. We'll link below to our holiday lighting stuff that's in stock um, because that's gonna help you find what you need and get it in your hands. We're working hard to be the in-stock source for your stuff so that you can get what you need to make your display amazing. If that sounds good, we'll see you guys in the next video and of course on the store. Thanks.